Uh, best many. of luck with that now then. For many, Brits, cosmetic tweakments are a way to enhance looks and boost confidence, but for a growing number of people, these procedures have resulted in lasting damage. Well, ITV One's Tonight has a special episode about the 3.6 billion industry. Let's take a look. Lip fillers anti-wrinkle treatments, liquid nose jobs. These are all different types of so-called tweakments. Oh yeah. Procedures which alter or enhance your face <laughs> without the need for any surgery. Oh, wow. And in the last few years, they've become increasingly popular. It's no surprise, though, as it feels as if everyone is at it. This was probably when my lips were at their fullest and had about four and a half mil in. So you can see that they're massive. You know, they are big, but I didn't see them as big. Well, joining us now is former Love Island contestant Faye Winter, who we just saw in that clip, and alongside her is cosmetic doctor Amy Vias. And welcome both. Good Lovely to see you. Start with these stats here. Bookings for aesthetic treatments such as lip filler and Botox have gone up by 512%. Uh, 3,000 complaints in 2022. 86 of those were made about people who had no medical standing. 93% of people who complained to save face of improper treatment last year had no idea that serious complications could occur from these procedures. When you had yours done, Faye, was it explained to you that it could go wrong? The first time I got it done, yes. That was a friend who was a nurse? Yes. So the first time I got it done, she was brilliant. Um, she definitely took me through everything. She gave me a week to decide if it's actually something I wanted to have done or not. Um, and then after that, I kind of felt like, oh, OK, I've been told it once, I've been explained it. I was never explained it again and was just led down the garden path. Well, she stopped doing the procedures, so then you turned to Instagram and that's kind yeah. of where it went wrong. So these weren't people that were medically trained. In fact, the sort of your thing was, if it's cheap, I'll go Absolutely. there. I mean, yeah. if you're really honest. And it is good to be honest, because I think a lot of people do think that way. Um, so then... A bit more, a bit yeah. more, and a bit more. And before you know it, you've got, I think you said, what was it, 4.5? Four, four and a half mil four, I had it the most. Yeah. So that's obviously when I went into Love Island. And I'd, I'd done it gradually over a couple of years. But you felt, going into Love Island, you first say you felt the most confident you've ever felt. So this isn't about hammering tweakments, because people do it for their own personal reasons. And you say you felt great at that time. Oh, I did. Like, I, I didn't see it as a problem at all. I thought my lips looked great. Yeah. Um, until but you came out? Until I came out and saw myself from a different perspective. Obviously, when I saw myself on the show, I was like, oh, OK, no. And I saw the difference. It wasn't the comments, it wasn't anything else. I saw it for the first time instead of just looking in the well, mirror. Well, your, your folks said they look a bit big and silly. <laughs> My mum and dad definitely told me they looked big and silly, but who listens to yeah. their parents when it comes to things that they think is important? Um, so you decided to have them dissolved, yeah. uh, not as straightforward as you initially thought. Mm -hmm. So I had them dissolved and instantly I could see that they were going down and I had the small lips again. And obviously with that, I'd lost full elasticity in my lips. So I had very wrinkly lips. So mm -hmm. at that point, I then had to go and have 0 0.5 put back in, which is what I've got now. Mm. Um, which and looks... I mean, to me, I wouldn't know as yeah. I look at as I look. I can see you've got lip gloss on and stuff. But do you feel better, or do you wish you'd never messed around with it in the first place? This is the look I always wanted. Right. This is the look I wanted, and this is the look I thought I had. Mm. Um, Isn't that funny? Until now, where I'm like, oh, okay, I only needed 0 0.5, but what I did need was a medically trained professional to do it. Um, it's not the first procedure that went wrong. Uh, you had uh, <laughs> Botox in your forehead, and that took 12 weeks before it got better. Yes. So my Botox was the worst I've ever felt and my full forehead, obviously Botox is a paralysing uh, substance, isn't it? So Temporarily um, paralyses your muscles um, to reduce the movement, stretch out the skin so that wrinkles aren't as present. But if too much is put in, if it's put in in the wrong place, your muscle on the top of your forehead gets very heavy mm. and this can droop your brows. If it's injected incorrectly, not aware of the anatomy, you can drop your eyelid. And the thing is, 
botulinum toxin or Botox is a prescription only medication. So you don't just inject it thinking, I know if I inject it here, it's gonna raise the brow. That's not how it works. It requires that deep understanding of anatomy. And if it's injected incorrectly, you end up with a complication like Faye had, where things can be heavy. And once it's in with Botox, once it's given, it can't be taken away. So, I mean, you're very, I mean, well done you, because it's really good to talk about this because this is happening everywhere, quite yeah. frankly, isn't it? And how do you then protect yourself? Is it as simple as, firstly, maybe don't head to somebody that isn't <laughs> medically trained at all. How do you know that that person is the right person? So the first thing is, while these treatments are used to enhance beauty, they are not beauty treatments. So they are medical treatments. Make sure you know who the practitioner is who's doing the treatment for you. They need to be medically qualified. You can check on registers. So I'm a doctor, you can check on the GMC register for what my qualifications are. It's the same with dentists, with nurses. So that's the first thing, make sure you know who it is, but also check their experience. How long have they been practicing in this? And how many cases have they done? Make sure they're insured, that's really important. Um, and make sure that if you're not quite happy with what the practitioner is telling you, you can always seek a second opinion. Mm. But the, the, this, the, this stat here, 93% of people who complained of improper treatment had no idea that serious complications could occur. Absolutely. So a good medical practitioner is going to have a thorough consultation with, with you before you have the treatment. In my clinic, I actually see everyone for a long a 30 to 45 minute video call before we even have them in the clinic. And many practitioners will do this either as a video call or in clinic, giving you all the information. You should have written information about what the treatment is, what it's there to treat. And also the practitioner should be talking to you about what your concern is, why it's happening, assessing you at the level of the skin, the soft tissues, the muscles, the bony changes, telling you all the different options available for treatment. Mm -hmm. and then then saying these are the ways we can treat it and these are the possible risks. And things can go wrong. I mean, the risks can be huge. It's not just sort of aesthetically how it looks, like with you with the eyebrows there when you see that, but you said they were heavy. I mean, things can go horribly wrong. You could end up in hospital. So in the right hands, they are safe, they are effective, they are quick, and they can be life-changing in terms of confidence-building treatments. But in the wrong hands, yep. there are complications from severe bruising, from infections, and then more severe complications, like injecting into a blood vessel, mm -hmm. that travelling to an area of the skin, killing the tissue in that area, travelling to the eye, causing blindness. Yeah, I mean, you there's a lot to think about. Yeah. You do need to be incredibly um, sensible. Thank you both. Thank you. Inside thank the Beauty you. Business with Lucrezia Millerini is tonight at 8.30 on, uh, on ITV1. And thank you for talking yeah. to us about Thanks this. Yeah, well done, well done.